Hello and welcome back to another Magical Vox tutorial. This is going to be a revised version of a tutorial I made in the past on trees. I feel like this one is a lot more simpler and with the new mic that I have, a, a lot more easier to understand. So with that, let's go ahead and get started and create some of the trees you see here. So the first thing you want to do is open up Magical Voxel and uh, make sure you have the latest version of Magical Voxel, otherwise the shaders that I will use in this tutorial may or may not work. So with that, let's go ahead and start making the base for our trunk. We're just going to go ahead and keep this cube selected, go over to the shaders tab, click on Mandelbulb, hit play. You get something like this. We're going to extrude this up on the z-axis and to do that you go to scale highlight the contents in this box press z space 2 do that a few times until you hit the maximum limit of 256 we're going to go into the world view which is by you can do by pressing tab or pressing this arrow here you know you're in world view when you have these arrows that pop up we're going to go ahead and flip this, so it's like this, press G to bring it to the ground, and we're going to tr trim this so that it's a lot easier to work with. So we're going to crop it, so bring it back to the ground, and now we basically have the trunk, however, there's a lot of these weird, like, s spikes that don't really look like pillars, they look like weird attachments, so we're going to get rid of that. And to make this easy, we are going to select on voxel mode under erase and increase the size of the voxel count to say 6 and select the square. Keep 3D on and we're just going to go ahead and get rid of these spiky things. With the spiky things gone, you can see there's some floaters. Um, we're going to get rid of those floaters as well. However, we're going to decrease the voxel count now to like 2. And you can increase or decrease the voxel count by pressing plus or minus on the keyboard. Okay, now that it looks like the floaters are gone, we're going to actually shift this portion slightly this way and increase the bottom trunk we select the marquee tool and just drag it across like that so go to the scale section type xy 1.1 scale it We have something like that and let's start trimming the top so that it goes big to small okay so we have something like this and that's a pretty good base for our trunk we don't make it too detailed because most of the trunks will be covered by the leaves so we're just gonna go to a new palette and give this trunk a nice brown color so you have something like this now for the leaves it's almost the same concept we're just going to create a new uh, object mandel bulb and increase it or using the scale tool we're going to increase it on the x and the y and decrease it slightly on the z And what I want to do is just create pockets of leaves and then just overlap them over each other, as you'll see in a second. And we get these leaves a green color so that it's easier to distinguish them. Flip it around. And just start putting these around. I'm going to create more of these objects, however, to have some variation in 
what my leaves look like. But the whole process is the same. Now we have this tree right here. Um, if you don't like the way it looks, you can easily make this look like an oak tree by just taking this right here, um, scaling it on the X and Y, as well as the Z, and just drag this over and increase its size. So now the tree looks more like an oak tree rather than maybe this kind of like pine tree looking thing. Uh, let's go ahead and actually make a pine tree. I think this is not a pine tree, but it's some some sort of tree, so to say. Um, but we're actually going to make a real pine tree this time. So to make the pine tree, just drag this one out. And we're going to do the same. Drag everything over. And as with a pine tree, it starts big on the bottom and slowly gets smaller as you get towards the top. So you just drag this up, move it around so it gives it some sort of variation, and just increase it slowly on the X and Y. there we go we have the pine tree and that's pretty much it with uh, making trees in magical voxel there's many many ways to make trees but i find this could also be a really quick way to make trees that look realistic while also looking blocky enough to fit in with uh, voxels and if you wanted to add like tree branches that stick out that's very easy as well. You just go and select the actual tree trunk and increase the size of the working space so you have more room to work with. And in voxel mode, just go click attach and you're going to go from big to small. So I'm going to start making this and I'm going to let go. Press the minus key once and then continue. Minus key again so that the branches or the tree trunks slowly get smaller and smaller. That's pretty much it. I hope this tutorial has helped, and I'll see you all in the next one.